Trade Cut. Mike, I'm looking at the graphic of you up here on the screen. You, you look like, there's a couple observations. One, you look like you're really having a hard time deciding whether to keep, trade, or cut. Yeah, you definitely and, have a headache. And you might be from, is that, are you from Brazil? No. I mean, that kind of looks like a flag behind you. Oh, I see what you're you know saying. What I, mean? I was looking at my face, and I feel like I look like myself and Matt Patricia are from, like, Lord of the Rings. Oh, okay. I thought maybe you had had some bad Chipotle. Mm. With those forehead wrinkles and that beard, man. Yeah, you've been on you've been on the pot a while on that picture. <laughs> in that picture. YouTube.com slash the fantasy football. All right. Um keep trade cut in season edition. We went to you, to the Foot Clan, to get the most uh popular requests, whether it was Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, the players you wanted to know uh, what we thought about them. The number one request by far. Oh uh, yeah is keep trade cut on Robert Woods. Uh, now, not, none of us are cutting Robert Woods. No. But you do have to make a decision with trading deadlines coming up on a simple question. Does Robert Woods bounce back to what you need and want from him as a fantasy player or not? It, yeah, I mean, that is the question because if you, if you believe he bounces back, then he could be a trade for target. If you don't, then he should be someone you trade. Um, I believe that he will bounce back. I mean, the, the you know you've had um, a lot of, especially you know you look at those first five games. His target counts were phenomenal. You watch the games; some some just barely misses or callbacks on penalties. I don't think you saw a lot missing. Now the last couple weeks, you know, you go back the last three weeks Been and baffling. That's where it, right they're baffling they're I mean you you would he would be on a 16 game pace of uh 69 targets which mm, is not nice not nice at all that it, that would be putrid and I just don't believe that that's the real Robert Woods the real Rams the real golf I am scared I'm scared because look I acquired him a couple weeks ago on a buy low I'm scared because when push comes to shove, when Cooper Cup's not available, all of a sudden Gerald Everett or or Josh Reynolds it becomes the guy that they're looking to. Am I? I'm right that Robert Woods has zero receiving touchdowns on the season. Yes, you are correct. In yeah. the first half of 2018, he was the wide receiver 11. At this point, right now he is the wide receiver 39. This is a very big decision for fantasy owners. And what's wild is you had this past game. Against the Bengals, a team that you can – whatever your offense wants to do, you you can make it happen. Yeah, see 220 yards for Cooper Cup. Brandon Cooks goes out mm -hmm. immediately. Okay, Cooper Cup, Robert Woods, let's see the natural bump up. Cooper Cup, 10 targets. What do we see? Oh, Josh Reynolds here with eight targets. And meanwhile, Robert Woods had two. Caught, caught, caught 100%. Ca he did. He got 100% he, of his targets. I like week. your spin zone Thank over you. here. But that is very concerning. Yeah. Now, they are going to their bye week this week. So, y you can you can have things fixed or you can utilize him in a package trade. You know, if, if you are looking at um, upgrading your roster and, you know, he's on buy and somebody's willing to buy low for a future bounce back. I mean, it, it's hard to trade for a guy who's been disappointing that you want to bounce back on their buy. Because it's like, you really have to wait and see now. For me, the, the decisions for Woods is is really, do I hold on to him or do I trade him? And I'm I'm scared the way Andy is scared that I'm looking to trade him away and just if he if he has a great second half of the season, good good for him. But I lean on the side that it's well, it, that I, I, I want out. It's worth noting that the next three weeks is bye week this week. Pittsburgh, which their defense is, yes. has actually been pretty great, and then Chicago. So, you know, it's one of those situations where I think I had I'm to getting make the, out. I had yeah, to make the choice. I'm, I'm out. I don't know if if we're talking in depth about Jared Goff, but he was a drop for me. Oh, that's yeah, that's fine because you've got you've got a you know a month where you're not going to use him. Yeah, and I think you can still sell Robert Woods on the historical past. 
Yeah, I think and the bad breaks you, I think and, and the to... and the Brandon Cooks injury, and you can there's a there's a strong trade narrative there. But I would I'm gonna have to go trade. Thank you so much for watching that video. It would make me so happy if you watched more of those videos. So click subscribe, ring that bell, and make your life a little better today.